Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm Mark, this is Begabra Backpacking. You know, I've never been out camping where I've been laying on a full length sleeping pad or a full length quilt and thought, man, I really wish I had a three quarter length or a torso length quilt or sleeping pad. But I have been in the situation where I've been laying on a three quarter and really wished I had the full length one. So that's what we're going to be talking about today is the difference between a three quarter length and a full length and why even though I own two three quarter length quilts, it's not something that I recommend to anybody and it's not something that I would buy again. If I was back in the situation where I was looking to purchase gear, I know it's tempting to go after those three quarter length because of the price and the weight, but it's not worth it. And I'm gonna to explain to you exactly why. So let's go. So right now, if you're just getting into backpacking and you're looking at gear, let's say you're just a new hammock camper and you're looking at quilts and you go to hammock gear. Hammock gear makes great quilts and they have different options. So you're looking to move from using a sleeping pad to finally making the move to an under quilt. And you're kind of that weekend warrior that only goes out during really the warmer weather, that nicer weather. You don't go out when it's really cold, shoulder season isn't really for you, the winter, you'd rather stay inside. But you do go out while it's nice. And so you start thinking, okay, uh, what do I need? So you're, you're looking and you've got the two different quilts from Hammock Gear. So you've got the Phoenix, which is the three quarter or torso length and then you've got the uh, incubator, which is their full length. Cost is about 20 to $30 apart. And let's say we're just looking at the 40 degree. So there's a $20 cost difference. So 249 versus 269 today's prices, just looked it up. But more appealing, you know, you wanna keep your weight low and that Phoenix is only 11 and a half ounces while the incubator the same temperature, 40, is 15 and three quarter ounces. So you're talking four, about four and a quarter, somewhere around four, four and a quarter ounces more and $20 more to go with the full length. But it's gonna be warm out. Do I really need it? Well, when you need it, you'll need it. So let me explain what I'm talking about. So I have, uh, like I said, I've got three quarter length and pretty small minimal top quilts uh, that are extremely, extremely lightweight. So I've got an operator series from Loco Libre that's 50 degrees, uh, very small minimal coverage quilt set. And it's light. It is about the lightest thing out there. Uh, I, I'm sure there are some, some lighter options right now on the market, but it is extremely lightweight. And it was about two, uh, it was probably a little longer than two years ago. Uh, actually, as I'm thinking about it, it was quite a while ago. But I was out on the AT. Uh, I think I was in North Carolina. It was the middle of summer. So pretty warm day. Uh, I had been sweating all day long. The problem was a thunderstorm came up. Uh, I was on a climb, so I was, I was warm already. Um, I kind of, you know, it's one of those things. Do you put on a, a rain jacket, you're going to sweat in the rain jacket, or do you just get wet from the rain? I normally choose just to get wet from the rain, but the problem was I didn't have, uh, I had nothing in my bag that was still warm other than a really light set of uh, Capilene underwear. So I had that and uh, my quilt set. So I got... I got to the point where uh, I wasn't going to go any higher because it was a thunderstorm and so I set up camp and it took me hours to get warm and because I didn't have that full length under quilt I was having to curl up more in a ball uh, and it just it was one of those times that I wished I had the full length one where I could really lay there and get warm um, but I was having to really curl up in a ball have my, my top quilt over the top of me and it took quite a while for me to warm up. Uh, 
And, and I know I've, I've been out with people that used three quarter length sleeping pads, especially in a shelter and uh, having your feet hang off and be at really two different heights. So your body's up here, your feet are kind of hanging off and, and are down here on the platform of the shelter. It's not very comfortable. Um, you know, you roll over, you're on your stomach and your feet are flat against, it's just, it's a weird, it's a weird thing. I, I don't know why people go that route. Um, sleeping pads even more than, than quilts. I can, I can understand the, the mental pro process that goes into buying a three quarter length quilt. I really can't understand the three quarter length sleeping pad though. But anyway, moral of the story is it's not that big of a weight penalty four, four and a half ounces, you're, you're gonna be thankful that you have that extra weight when you need it. So take it from me, learn from my example. You do want to go with the full length. I, I wish there wasn't even an option out there. I get it, I understand people are, are wanting to go as absolutely light as possible and you can supplement it. You can use like a sit pad or something like that under your feet in order to make it up. Uh, you can throw extra clothes underneath your feet, whatever. But for me, it just doesn't make sense. Spend the extra money, carry the extra weight. It's not that much. It's a minimal amount of weight, especially when we're talking about a 40 or 50 degree quilt and have the coverage that you'll want on those off chances that a storm rolls in, the temperature drops significantly. You get up in the mountains and weird things can happen pretty much any month of the year. So be prepared. All right, guys, if you have any questions, any comments, if you've experienced similar things, if you have a three quarter length and regret buying it, whether it be a pad or an underquilt, let me know down below. I want to hear about it. I want to hear your stories as well. Thanks for checking this out. Give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, go check out Patreon, and I will see you guys down the trail.